What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, I have a kind of different video for you. Um, I just picked up this new ASUS monitor behind me, um, which is the new ASUS XG32UCWMG, uh, I think, um, which is the True Black Glossy um, 240 Hertz OLED. And it looks unbelievable. The coating on it is just phenomenal. Um, by far my favorite uh, OLED in terms of display quality um, and a gaming monitor that I've seen thus far. So uh, props to ASUS on that. Um, but what I did notice is that my unit was faulty. So I couldn't get the, the firmware to update on it and um, I thought it was faulty. So I brought it back to Micro Center and I swapped it out for a new one. And that unit is also faulty. So I just kind of want to run you guys through um, what I'm experiencing here trying to update the firmware and see if anybody is encountering the same issue and if they are, if they have a workaround for it. So um, anyways, I'll take you through what I'm doing and we'll see what you guys think. Okay, so kind of how this all started, I hope you guys can see this okay, is the shake awake on this monitor I noticed was much slower. So. I own two other ASUS OLED monitors, one being the XG27 um, that you see just here to the left. And then um, I also own a PG32 UCDM. Uh, my plan was to sell my PG32 UCDM and replace it with this, the XG32 uh, UCWGM. I think I got that right. But anyways, this is the, the true black glossy OLED um, the finish on this is just absolutely incredible and um, I really love it. I mean, it just looks so good. But what I ran into or what I just noticed was that the shake awake on this was a little slow and we'll see if we can pick this up right here. So see how the, the one on the left has already popped on and the XG still still waking up. So. My first thought on this was that, okay, well, it must need a firmware update. Um, so I popped in, uh, I downloaded the firmware update from the website, from ASUS's website, and I have it here, I extracted it, I saved it to the, uh, the computer. This is the standard procedure. Um, and I even followed step-by-step -step right here. You can see they have their um, standard operating procedure for updating the firmware. So um, I have it connected right now via USB-B, um, which is this cable that you guys can see right here. It's connected to my computer. And so I'm like, okay, great. Let's update the firmware and let's see what happens. And this is what's gonna happen. Let's see if we can get this on, on camera here. Boom, device not found. I don't know if you guys can see that clearly. There you go. Device not found. Okay, so I've tried this a million different ways. I tried via USB-B, uh, which is the way I've done it on every single other ASUS monitor, doing it the same way that I've done on this one. Um, I've also tried this via USB-C, which they say in their standard operating procedure that you can do it that way. Um, and it gives me the same result. It says device can't be found. Um, when I first plugged in the monitor, the very first time it popped up, said it was updating via USB-B, it got to about 33% and then it failed. And then since then it has not shown any sort of life from that USB port. Um, after when I hit close, um, usually it pops up in the, in the bottom corner of the thing that's saying that your USB device has malfunctioned. Um, and it cannot, you know, it might not be working properly. So I really want this monitor to work. Um, and so I went to bed, I, I woke up this morning and uh, before work today, and I tried updating it via flash drive. Um, so there's a way you can do it via flash drive as well. I plug it in, um, I go through that process and it just says has failed to update. So um, there's obviously something going on with this monitor. I'm guessing it's a bad batch from ASUS. Um, I saw somebody else uh, on a review on Newegg saying no matter what they did, they couldn't get the firmware to update, um, which is the same, same problem that I'm having. Um, it's really just the shake awake that seems slow to me. Um, there hasn't been any other issues 
that I've noticed um, in the monitor's performance. I mean, it looks incredible. Um, I just don't know if I can stomach paying 1100 bucks for a monitor that uh, doesn't update. You know, what if it has a, a problem that I'm not seeing right now that uh, in the future could be fixed via an update? Um, and then I have to, you know, send it back to ASUS under their warranty. Um, I don't know. It just seems like a hassle uh, for something that should just work. You know, you should be able to update the firmware on your on your really nice expensive monitor. So um, if anybody else is encountering this problem, please let me know down in the comments. Um, it's super frustrating. I hope that, uh, that I can fix it. I don't want to take it back right away. Um, but at this point, I think I might, uh, go back to the PG 32 UCDM and wait for, uh, a new tandem OLED from them in spring, uh, with this same coating. Cause this coating is phenomenal. I mean, uh, the black level performance is so much better on it. Um, you know, I just, I really, really enjoy it. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. I hope this helps somebody who is also experiencing the same problem. You're not crazy. I can't figure it out either. Um, I sent Asus an email with laying out exactly what I've done and seeing if they will um, come back to me with anything. I sent that last night. I haven't heard back yet, um, but hopefully they get back to me soon. So anyways, let me know what you guys think and we'll see you guys in the next one.